Hi, my name is Painter Master Karen Boniker, and I'd like to introduce you to a new brush pack for Painter Essentials called Feather Essentials. And I want to take you through some of the brushes first so you get a good understanding of how to use these brushes or some of the best and creative ways of using them. One of the fun things about Painter Essentials and especially these great brush packs is that many times the brushes are created around a certain theme, but it doesn't mean that you can't use those brushes in other creative modes as well. So let's take a uh, look at the very first brush, and it's called Feathery. And um, the, the real trick to this brush is to use it um, very lightly. So you want to use a nice light pressure on it. And you get this nice feathery end um, of the brush. You can apply firmer pressure and get a little heavier brush stroke, but I really like the look that you get with a very soft brush tip and you get almost this lacy, feathery uh, look at the end of the brush. So it would be great for feathers, uh, for bird feathers like um, parrots and tropical birds. The next brush is called Flight, and again, it's a very creative brush, very expressive, very feathery at the ends, and um, lots of uses for this one um, to add texture in certain places where you might want to impart extra texture. Um, of course, you can use it for uh, feathers as well. Again, it has kind of a tropical bird look to it. Parrot, and this brush is a lot of fun because it does have some color variability in it and you can use it um, to create uh, the tail feathers for, um, for your parrots or tropical birds. This one is called Peacock and the best way to use this brush is to use it um, from the with a stroke that goes from the top to the bottom. So something like this. And again, very lacy, very feathery. I could see you using this to create um, peacock feathers, texture, bird feathers. So from the top, down to get that look of the peacock feather. And then of course you can always add your own colors to it as well. The next brush is Pheasant. I really like this brush for the variability in the brush stroke. Um, it gives the look of a, a pheasant feather. So this would be a good one. Of course, you could also use it to create great texture, very expressive brush. Use it, um, you know, another way that would be fun to use it is for creating, if you're doing a forest scene or a jungle scene, you could create some nice foliage with it as well. Plume. And this one is another good one to work from uh, the top brush stroke down. And color variability is built into this brush. You could use it as a boa, create some nice feathery boa looks. Raven, and this one um, I would use for more of the look of, of building up feathers. Really like this brush. Use it um, overlapping to create the look of feathers. I'll often use it, um, and I'll show you this, with a screen composite method 
and screen is one of those ways that you can create light in your painting. You can really paint with light using that. So if I were to pick a color here, maybe a mid-blue here, and go back over these areas, you can see how that screen mode adds light to your brush stroke. Beautiful way to paint. That's Raven. Sandpiper is just a nice little expressive brush. Um, you can use it for actual light pressure and use it for sketching. Um, and it's very versatile brush for many uses from texture to uh, sketching horns on a deer. Lots of different ways you could work with this one. Wing, and this is again a very expressive brush stroke. Um, good one to use for creating birds in flight or sketching detail work. Kind of an expressive brush. Use it to create the pin for your feather structure or the vein of the feather. And then of course you could go back to some of your brushes like Raven and do your actual brush strokes to create the feathery look. Lots of fun. And the first brush in the set is the brush called Abstract. And this one is your blending brush. It breaks up pixels. So it's a brush that you would want to use to create extra texture in your um, in your piece. Now I want to take you to this image here. And this is all done with these brushes. Uh, the Feather Essentials Abstract, and I started off with just a sketch, and you can see all the different brushes that I use to create this painting. Um, the Pheasant Brush is one that I'll go back into here and maybe show you a little more on this one. Um, if I wanted to add some extra tail feathers here, you can see how beautiful that brush works. And again, because I'm working on a screen layer, screen composite method, you can see that this is actually adding some beautiful light to certain areas that I might want to add some special effects or you know, enhance the light in certain areas. So maybe back here on our trees, we want to use, um, let's choose the sandpiper. And we'll go back into this area and maybe add some extra highlights onto these trees in the background. So even though I've worked with these darker values, you can see that working with screen blend mode can give you something extra, a little extra interest there in creating areas of light. And maybe some areas of light that we capture up in the tree. Maybe the glow of the sun coming along this tree line here. And then to soften those areas or add additional texture, you could use the abstract brush and go into that and break up that area. And you can see that wonderful texture that you can impart. So beyond creating beautiful feathers for tropical birds, parrots, and so on, 
this these brushes can be used in many ways to create uh, you know it's just a matter of you're digging in and getting creative with them and having some fun but remember to explore composite methods and work with a screen um, composite method and see how it enhances your work especially when you've already started and or maybe have finished a painting and you want to add something extra in terms of light or texture add a new layer above your initial painting and work with that co uh, composite method screen and have some fun painting with light this is the Feather Essentials Brush Pack for Painter Essentials.